Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in beautiful, sunny Frederick, Colorado. Home of the now world champion Denver Nuggets. The drought is over. Congratulations to the team. Sorry to all you. The Heat did do their, their job. They gave us a good battle. It's hot out here. I'm sweating so the Heat actually worked a little bit. Uh, we're going to start up here. We got a 2023 Winnebago Revel. We've got our all-terrain KO2 tires, method aluminum wheels. KO2 tires are great for literally all-terrain. They're great on the highway, they're quiet. You go off-road, you go up to the mountains up here in uh, Colorado or wherever you're at. They're great for uh, traction. You can air them down as needed, so it's really nice to have. We've got our fixed running board. We do have tie down rings on both sides of the running board. We also have a couple lights there that you can turn on. You can see we have our passenger side porch light here under our awning, which also has LED lights. And it does have a wind sensor. So if you're out enjoying the game, the celebration, you're watching the uh, Nugget Parade tomorrow morning, you can't go downtown, this is a good place to do it. We got a TV, an iPad. Watch it in style. So we've got our side door here with our flip down table. This is actually, this is really adjustable here. So if you're off-roading and the ground's not level, you can actually level out your table by adjusting this cable here. There's also an induction cooktop inside that you can place on here to cook outside for your celebration party. Right here, we're gonna have our refrigerator. Kind of party without any drinks, so it's not gonna work. Got enough room for a few. I would suggest bringing a cooler if you got lots of friends. The fridge is not the, great, not the biggest one, <laughs> but it will keep your food nice and cold. We have our roll lift screen up top, which I'll show you a little bit more when we come back around. I just kind of wanted to open up, give you a little view here. So we work our way back. A couple things to point out here. This is on a Mercedes 2500 chassis. So you're gonna have 188 horsepower, 325 pound feet of torque. Uh, this is a three liter V6 engine. And you got a seven speed automatic transmission. Uh, back here, you're gonna have your ladder. Now this is just to carry your ladder. Uh, when you're traveling, when it's time to use it, you wanna unlock this, remove the ladder and place it on the side. I'll show you when we come around the, the side here. We're gonna have our backup camera and our Coleman Mach 10 AC up on top. We're also gonna have our 5,000 pound tow hitch here. Seven pin connector on this side. We open the doors, a couple things to point out here. We're gonna have our water bay right here. You have a water pump switch, and that button actually turns on the scene light on the driver's side, which I'll show you when we come around. Super simple to use. Everything is color-coded so that you can put the valves in the right position, whether you're gonna sanitize, winterize, or fill your tank. Right here's where you'd hook up your hose. If you own a Revel or you're thinking of having a Revel and you haven't downloaded the How to Revel app, I would go ahead and download that. Walks you through a lot of the different components. Uh, gives you, gets you ready for when you go pick up yours if you're picking one up soon. Uh, have some really good questions after that so that way your walkthrough will be a little bit better experience for you. We've got our outdoor shower hose right here. And this is hot and cold water. You know what? Right here on the side. A couple other things I almost forgot to point out. You're going to have some USB ports, your external solar panel port right here. This is going to turn on the lights under the bed. 
and this is going to shut off your uh, inverter. A lot of people are calling and asking about accessories. Uh, if you want boxes, you want the rear mounted ladder, you want the spare tire rack. Uh, there's a lot of good companies out there, Luminous being one of them. A lot of those options, they actually bolt onto your hinges. They're pretty simple to do. Uh, if you're not comfortable doing that, we can set you up here at TransWest, order them and install them for you. So just give us a call. The Rebel does come with 30 amp service, does come equipped with the cord. So this is where you would plug in if you're at an RV park or maybe you're parked outside in your buddy's uh, driveway. You could do a 30 amp, there's a 15 amp connector uh, or adapter so you can plug into a regular standard outlet. There's our driver's side scene light up top. As far as capacities, you're going to have 21 gallons of fresh water, 21 gallons of gray. You're also going to have a five gallon black tank, and that's what this is here. Does have wheels. Pretty easy to carry, uh, pretty easy to dump. Again, you're just going to take the lid off. There's a vent button here, so you'd push the vent to let it out, put it into a, obviously, to a sewer drain or porta potty this does lock uh, just kind of keeps your cassette safe keeps people from stealing it under here is your gray tank valve so this is where you would hook up your hose and drain your gray tank there on this side we're gonna have another fixed running board again with uh, tie down loops and lights I mentioned the ladder when you take the ladder off, you can put it anywhere along the top of the luggage rack there so it rests on this plastic reinforced piece. You don't want to be climbing on it on the back door because it will damage your door, give you some dents back there that aren't going to look too nice. This has 24 gallons of fuel capacity. This is diesel. Nice feature is that when the door's closed, you can't open this, so it keeps your fuel safe, keeps people from stealing it. Make sure you do diesel, not gas. Here on your front seat, this dial right here is gonna adjust your backrest. This is gonna lift you up, lift you up or down. Here's your lumbar, and this will adjust the front of the seat. So a lot of adjustment on the seat lets you get nice and comfortable for your road trips. Down here, you're going to have some fuses. Always important, if something's not working, check your breakers, your fuses first before you start to panic. On the door here, we have power door locks, power mirrors, and windows. Your hood latch release is right here under the dash on the left hand side. You've got your light controls here, your, your headlights. I like keeping them on auto. You can dim your lights here or actually do your timer. Um, your vent here, you can turn them on and off by turning them so you can shut off your vent and your windshield wipers are on this side as well. We'll go through the rest of the controls when we get inside. under the hood again a couple things to point out if you have to give somebody a jump start or you need a jump start this is where your positive terminal is so this is where you'd hook up your booster cable and your ground is right here on the side you're gonna have your windshield wiper fluid here your coolant and your air filter for that flux capacitor it gives you that little extra bump when you're going down the highway. Do remember when you're shutting the hood, a lot of us get used to just pulling the hood down. On these, you wanna be careful not to do that because you will damage your hood. You wanna make sure and take the latch off and close that down. 
There's a step right here in the front that you can use to actually climb up there if you need to clean the windshield a little better, get something off of the hood. This is the pebble gray color on the exterior. As you walk in here, you're gonna have a ram mount grab bar. Super solid, helps you get in and out. As I mentioned earlier, we do have the roll left screen. You have the magnetic strip on this side. So that when you go in and out, you don't have to keep zipping and unzipping. There's also a Velcro latch here, little Velcro piece to keep it closed. A little more secure. When it's time to put it away, again, it's super simple. Just zip, unzip it. You roll it up and there's a tie down stretch in here. Good. Again, refrigerator's right here with easy access from outside so you can load and unload. It does have a small freezer. Here you're gonna have your awning controls, awning on and off extend and retract, and then your awning lights. This is gonna turn the lights on on the running board. And this is gonna turn on your light bar outside by the passenger door. Got some 110 outlets here. Fire extinguisher down here on the bottom behind the passenger seat. Really nice solid tie down loop right here. Tie down ring. As you can see the floor, this is nice. Sturdy, easy to clean flooring. You've got a little hidden cubby down here. For additional storage, there's also a couple more 110 outlets down in here. Behind your seat here, a couple things. You got another storage compartment back here. Every little bit helps. Go ahead and take these cushions off to show you under here. Here is where your counter extension is stored. It's got a slam latch on there, super solid. Nice extra prep space. When you're done, you just put it under here. Really easy to do. It does have two seat belts, so this can sit two people. You have one shoulder strap and then one lap belt. If you don't want the table set up, you can take the top off. Put it up overhead here. Same with the base. So you do have some additional storage up top here. Again, it's a really good spot to put the table if you don't want to have it in the way. When it's time to eat and rotate the seats, you can bring it back down. Here in the kitchen, we're going to have a single sink. Our cooktop is going to be stored right here. And again, you can actually cook right here. You can cook outside on the table that's out there. Here's your remote for your max fan up top. Some additional drawers. Nice spot here for a small trash can. Of course, you got some overhead storage here. The bathroom, when you're opening the door, 
feels like it's stuck, it's not. You have a couple magnets down below. You have a magnet right there and one up top that kind of keeps the door from rattling when you're going down the road. This does come equipped with two shelves in case you want to use the bathroom more as a closet. You can put your hangers up here. This does have, again, your, your shower and your toilet down here. So a lot of people either choose if they want to use it as a closet or as a bathroom. So here's that 30 amp cord that comes with your van so that you can plug in. The toilet does swivel to the left here so that when you're using the room, you have a little more leg room in the bathroom. Uh, shower curtain snaps in right here. And I have seen customers uh, who aftermarket put a shower rod that comes out a little further out here to give you a little more elbow room while you're taking your shower. In the back here, before I put the bed down, there's a couple things to point out. We've got a nice storage bag right here. Again, it's out of the way, nice and neat. There's a net down here you can use to put blankets, sheets. These are going to be your blackout shades for the front windows. And then under here, here is your 320 amp hour lithium lithionix battery, your 2000 watt inverter. Now the, the battery will run your air conditioner. You do have uh, six tie down rings down here on the floor I want to point out. Plenty of garage space down here when the bed is down. I'm going to go ahead and put the bed down so you guys can see what that looks like. It's just a power, power bed. I've got the air conditioner running right now. Again, that does run off the batteries. No need for a generator. I'll step out so you can see that. Maybe show the controls on the AC if you can get under there. So the AC does have a fan option. Uh, it's got low, high fan, and auto and then also cool so right now it's cooling it down nice i think it was 77 degrees when i came in here and now it's really nice and fresh in here plenty of room on the bed there's a window uh, so you can get some fresh air it's got the day screen and the night screen and i can show you that here so there's your window your day screen there so you can circulate some fresh air. You can have the, the uh, row of screen in the back down, also the side one to get some fresh air. Starts warming up and you're gonna use the air conditioner. Obviously you wouldn't want to do that, but. Oh. Let's see here. So on these, you actually have to push up and it comes down. Looks like it's stuck at the moment. So I'll have to get, get out there and do it from the outside. But uh, you do have, again, night screen there. This van, as equipped, has an MSRP just over 216,000. Uh, give me a call. If you're interested in one of our Rebels, I can get you some actual sale pricing. Up here on our main panel board here, a couple things. You have your light switches. You're gonna have your disconnect for your solar charge controller. This is a ZAMP solar charge controller. You have your Xantrax uh, controller here. In the one place panel, you're gonna have your water pump switch. Check your tank levels and your battery levels. And this is where you lower and raise the bed. This is your, your heating control here and your hot water. Pretty simple. Right now it's 73 degrees in here. If I want to get it hotter, I just kind of scroll over. Right now I want to turn that off because it's nice and toasty outside. You click that if you want to get your hot water going. Super simple, not a lot to it. One of the nice things about the Revel is there's not a lot that can go wrong. 
owner's manuals. You're gonna have another two 110 outlets, a couple USBs, a 12 volt outlet there, and then you have a roof access port. So whether you're doing a cradle point, a Wii Boost, or maybe you wanna add some Starlink up top, you have a port there already. All right, now up front, both of the seats will swivel around. Let's see if I can, here we go. Couple levers down here. This lever right here will slide the seat backwards and forward. This is the one you use to rotate. This has a little bit of a leg extension right here. Again, both seats will swivel. You can set your table up here if you want to eat lunch across from each other, do a puzzle, play some cards. Up front, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. You can see outside, maybe you can point out, I started the van. So the awning automatically retracted. It's coming in right now. That's a safety feature to help uh, keep you from driving down the highway with your awning out. Somebody's got to keep an eye on us, right? Uh, so the awning will retract if you start it up and it's out. If your van is running, it will not extend. Uh, again, that's part of a safety feature there. Up here on our stereo, we're going to have your phone, navigation, radio, media. Here in your apps, you can go to your smartphone and do either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can use the touch, touch screen here, or you can use the mouse on the steering wheel right here on the right side. So you can actually operate this while you're going down the road. It's a lot easier. If you go to settings, a couple things that are in here. Right here's your active lane keep assist. Some people don't like that going down the road. Some people do, you can actually turn it on and off there. You can turn your Parktronic assist on and off. So there's a, quite a few things on here that you can actually adjust, turn on, turn off. You can always use your back arrow to go back one screen or your home button to take you to the main screen. Uh, you can make your phone calls, adjust the volume on the stereo right here. On this left side, the mouse pad is going to control your dash, dash screen here. This does have adaptive cruise. Once you set that, turn the cruise on, and you set it, you can adjust how many car lengths, if you see right here, you can adjust how many car lengths you want to stay behind the vehicle in front of you, and it will apply the brakes, kind of keep you at that distance. So it's a really nice feature to have, especially on long trips. And again, you can always use the back arrow or home button. Pretty simple, your shifter is right here. So you push in for park, go up for reverse, down one for neutral, and then down again for drive. Windshield wipers are on the left side, turn signals as well. Pretty simple, lots of cup holders here. You got four here, you've got a couple up top. You're gonna have a wireless charging pad here two USB, actually three USB type C connections here. You can plug into this one and that will connect you to the phone or to your stereo. There's another 12 volt outlet. You also have a nice little glove box on both sides, passenger and driver. Down here, you're gonna have your AC controls, also your hazard lights, rear defrost, AC, this is going to adjust your temperature, and then this side your fan speed. Turn it off. A couple cubbies here, down here, this is kind of important down here to show. 
you're gonna have a couple things right here you have another uh, 12 volt outlet another USB type C your key actually goes right in here just like that keeps it communicating with the computer better you can start and drive it just close by uh, it's a good habit to get into just um, putting it in this the slot where it's meant to go so keeps it again communicating with the computer a lot better overhead here a couple things you're gonna have your reading lights on both sides uh, you're gonna have your main light and you can call here for service for help the SOS buttons right here so if you get stranded somewhere you need some help you've been in an accident that's your SOS button sunglasses or garage door opener holder there and then you do have a couple nice little spots right above the visors here uh, for storage as well that's pretty much it on this 2023 Winnebago Revel again this is the uh, Pebble Gray it is available uh, if you're interested in this or any other ones please give me a call shoot me a text uh, or an email if you need some additional photos or you want to do a FaceTime video I can do that with you as well um, si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next week.